Aspect Ratio The aspect ratio refers to the width by the height of a video. There are two main aspect ratios in video. The older 4x3 and the more modern 16x9 or widescreen. Standard definition video can be 4x3 or 16x9. High definition video is only 16x9. Resolution Resolution describes the number of pixels used to describe an image. Video has a fixed resolution. This means that no matter how large or how small a video is being presented, the number of pixels used to describe that video does not change. The number of pixels used is set out by the video format. There are two main resolutions, high definition and standard definition. High definition comes in two varieties. Full HD, which is sometimes described as 1080, and a slightly lower version of high def, which is usually described as 720. Standard definition only comes in one variety of resolution. In the UK, that standard is called PAL, or is simply referred to as standard definition. Now, when we compare the three standards, we can see very easily that the full HD has a larger number of pixels describing the same image. This results in a greater level of clarity and detail as there's more information describing the same picture. It is also important to note that it is not possible to take footage of a lower resolution, such as standard definition, and scale it up or upscale it in the software. This will result in poor quality video as the software has to interpolate or guess what details there are as it enlarges the video. When setting up a project, it is important to know where it will be displayed as this will have implications on how you record or how you set up your project in terms of resolution. Scan modes. There are two different scan modes, interlaced and progressive. Interlaced video divides the image into even and odd fields. When the even and odd fields are played back in quick succession, smooth video is achieved. Interlaced video is suitable for broadcast and DVD. Interlaced video is not suitable for playback on a computer monitor. So that would be for distribution over the web, tablet devices, mobile phones and other similar devices. That is because these devices use progressive to display their video. When interlaced video is displayed on a progressive monitor, the individual fields are visible, creating an unattractive zigzag effect around any area of movement. This should be taken into consideration when making camera choices and setting up your project. Boards and displays video as whole complete frames, similar to cinema. Cameras usually only record in one scan mode, therefore it is important to know where your video is destined to be shown when choosing what camera to make your project on.